They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, 49ers. A great play there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are on the board first here this afternoon. Moody good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. You look at this Niner defense. They were excellent a week ago in that victory over the Colts. If I'm playing quarterback against this team, after what I saw on film where they had five picks last week, all I'm thinking about is taking care of the football, being very careful with it, and making sure I see my guys open before I throw it. I might curl up in the fetal position. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I don't idea think he's going to do that, <laughs> Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. To the right side, complete to Miller. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. On uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. So, Charles, this defense, you know, they definitely know that they've got their hands full here going up against a group that has won seven straight. What's the key for them in this ball game? Well, we asked their defensive coordinator that very question, and the response was... We have the mindset that they actually have to react to us, not the other way around. So it sounds to me like the plan is to do the attacking and not wait to see what they present to them. Throwing on first down, Kirkpatrick. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 16 yards, a little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up for the first and goal. 
Here's a quick throw caught out wide. Touchdown! A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Niners are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point try now for Moody. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They begin with a run by Miller. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense for the Niners, they were excellent a week ago in that victory over Indianapolis. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot on almost every snap? If the ball was in the air, they took it away. If the ball was popped free, they picked it up. Five takeaways in last week's game. Here we go on second and 12. There's Chris Olave. And they're able to get this one across the 35. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. A first down carry now for Miller to about the 40-yard line. You look at this Niner defense. They were excellent a week ago in that victory over the Colts. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down and eight. They'll set up to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Miller. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield, everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Back to throw again. They set up the screen for Henry. Touchdown, New Orleans! Derrick Henry, 32 yards! And the Saints have cut it back within a score. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that 
that one makes it 14 to 7. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And this late season game, of course, not lacking for drama when you talk about the AFC playoff picture. Yeah, in a sense, it's the haves versus the have-nots because this group on offense, they'd be a wild card if the postseason started today, but they know the guys on the other side of the ball are still in that dreaded in-the-hunt category, and they're hungry for a win today. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Kirkpatrick. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down at a yard. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. Off play action, Kirkpatrick. Throw caught there by Willis. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And he's got a and a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Kirkpatrick. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers go up by two touchdowns. Moody good with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. And I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Back to throw here. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. 
I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Brandon Smith picks it off. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh. Fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. They're going deep for Hill. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Tyreek Hill. 44 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now Moody for the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Saints take over first and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Well, those two have hooked up for a touchdown once already in this game, that time unable to find the completion. Yeah, it just appeared they wanted to get him out into open space and try and get him the football. As you mentioned, unable to connect. Now this one taken in by Alave. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. They'll look to throw again. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Well, those have been a problem for him all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 64 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first and 10, Kirkpatrick. And he's taken down here by the Saints. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though, good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction 
and that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them, and now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 22-yard line. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. The slot man in motion right. On first down, Kirkpatrick. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. Consecutive catches for him, that good for 11. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Now a first and 10 at the 11. In motion, Hill. Throwing on first down, Kirkpatrick. And this one too low. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Second and ten. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Jake Moody now on for the field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is right there. It's good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Mitch Wisniewski to kick off for San Francisco. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. 
picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. On first and 10, Kirkpatrick. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Niners are able to add on to their first half lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 39. Now back to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Throwing to start the drive, Kirkpatrick, and that one going to come up short, low throw. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Here's second and ten. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. There he goes again, and they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game, three first-half touchdowns. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Moody good with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The pass caught by Alave, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. they got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Now a second and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And quickly, he just gets that ball out of there. Not quite sure what he was doing, and here comes the flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. So now it's third and long, because remember, they also lose a down on the grounding call. And now they'll audible to something else. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. They'll try and throw for it here. He lets it go deep for Alave. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. Picked off by Isaiah Rodgers. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Well, this is just crazy. He's got three interceptions, Charles, and we haven't even departed the first half of this ball game. I think if you're looking at the stats right now, you're saying, all right, who's the leading receiver? Well, can you flip it around and say that maybe he is and could be for the game the way that things are going right now? I think if it's him, he wants to be on the field at all times. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Okay, ready. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? Well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is... There he goes, left side! And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. 
We're well, just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I, I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. Looking to throw. They set up the screen to Miller. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. A first down carry for Henry. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's a second and five. Go. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back, -back, five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play-action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. They'll give it up the middle to Miller. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Miller running right. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And the Saints are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And he is in the zone touchdown New Orleans Kendra Miller his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year and the Saints get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit 
The extra point splits the uprights as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Isaiah Rogers. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, 49ers. Extra point try now for Moody. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Take that, thank you. Here we go, here we go. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The Saints on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. And they'll indeed take a knee. And they take a knee. And they will take a knee here. Jake Moody now on for the field goal. He connected on his first. This time it's 39 yards away. And his kick is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity.
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Quick throw to Alave. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 90 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. 